Higher crude oil prices and the pressure to develop alternative energy sources are helping one new fuel producer get established not far from downtown Newark. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Today, this company's customers tend to be either very local or transatlantic. According to CEO John Fox, Innovation Fuels can sell biodiesel-based heating oil to distributors here for less than the price of heating oil on the New York Mercantile Exchange. But he says around 80% of the Newark plant's production goes overseas, thanks to Europe's rapidly developing market for alternative fuels, easy access to a seaport, and the euro to dollar exchange rate. As in Europe, government mandates are expected to increase U.S. demand for the kinds of products made here. This is a 19th century facility that's been revived for a 21st century business. We uh, retrofitted quite a few of the tanks themselves. Uh, we put in almost two miles of pipeline, uh, put in unloading facilities uh, at the rail side, offloading facilities for barge, and uh, installed a series of pumps and drives and uh, purification filters as well as heat exchangers. Now this recycled industrial plant refines substitutes for petroleum products from feedstocks including waste materials. We take in any type of virgin vegetable oil, tallows, animal fats, and used vegetable oils. We make an ASTM product which is almost exactly like uh, diesel fuel itself. The company has begun planting and testing a weed called pennycress, which grows well in off-season months and could produce high yields of oil-bearing seeds as a potential feedstock. All our R&D is, is shifted into finding the feedstocks to be able to ultimately reduce our cost to the end customer and finding those feedstocks that operate in very cold climates. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Newark.